guys. So, I have another package, and, you know, I've got nothing else to talk about on here, so I figured I'd open it again for you, and also I have to because uh, maybe told me I couldn't open it without doing a video. So here I am, and it's almost Thanksgiving, which means it's almost Christmas, and that makes me super happy and excited, and it smells really good right now in here because I have this spiced cider candle burning and it smells delicious anyway off topic all right i'm gonna open this let's see what's in it it's open pretty exciting stuff guys first thing in here is a disney princess coloring book and i'm actually super excited right now because this takes me back to yesteryear look at that i can't wait i'm gonna be coloring in this soon I have alpha stickers, foil alphabetic stickers. Good times. Nice and random. I like it. Uh, these really cute owl gel clings. How cute is that? I don't know what I want to decorate. I kind of want to put it in my car. They got little snowflakes too. Ah, I love it. Uh, lip gloss. Specifically, donut lip gloss. Very nice. It seriously just took me like an hour to open this. Just wanted to see what it was like inside. How do you open? Oh. Nice. So it's like a clear lip gloss inside. I don't think this whole thing's supposed to come all the way. Put that back on. There we go. Just clear. Clear lip gloss. Which is always handy because my lips get really dry, especially in the winter time. Oh my goodness. A monster box of crayons. This is amazing. And 10 points because it has a sharpener on the back, which you know from middle school, this was like the coolest thing ever. You knew you'd arrived if you had a crayon sharpener on your box. Nice. Extremely exciting. This. This is great. A Jane Austen 500 piece jigsaw puzzle and check it out because it looks like it's a book it's pretty awesome all the pieces then i'll have to hide from my nephews if he doesn't try and eat them a little radio i'm pretty sure this is an eraser a little radio eraser there's another one down here a little orange one really cute too. A holiday style garland Christmas card holder. They've got little clothespins and you can pin your cards to them hang them up. That's really cute. The best pin ever. It's all Christmassy. I want to whip this out in class and annoy the snot at everybody around me because it makes a lot of noise. Yeah. And a slightly less annoying candy cane pin. Just to get in the spirit of the holidays. <laughs> Another coloring book. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Very nice. You know they changed their catchphrase from Cowabunga to something else that sounds really ridiculous and that just makes no sense to me because Cowabunga is what the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were. And it's got stickers on the inside. Sweet. More crayons, and these she has marked with ornaments, which makes sense because I found a project where you can get clear glass bulb ornaments and you put a crayon inside of it without paper on it, obviously, and then you just heat it up with a hair dryer and the crayon melts and like colors the inside of the ornament. It looks really cool. So that's awesome. Oh, hey, there's ornaments in here too. And eight glass ornaments so I can do my project. So I will do this and show you how it looks and see if it comes out any good or if it looks really ridiculous. Hopefully it'll look good, but I think it'll be cool. So that's pretty awesome. 100 indoor outdoor mini lights, which is great because I love these and I'm going to be putting them in my bedroom because I just feel like I need more Christmas in my life. Amazing. This really pretty magnetic list pad calendar. It's got a spot for notes and the top has a calendar so I can rip those off as the days go by. Well, as the months go by really because it's a month at a time. That little bird at the bottom. That's really, really cute. I love that. Aw. The top of the radio. That's okay. That radio doesn't have a top. That fell off. 
Thoughts and Doodles, a 60 sheet list pad. If you don't know anything about me, you know I love my, my paper and notebooks and list things and anything I can write stuff down on. That's awesome. Ooh. And a journal, which I also love journals. A very, very pretty one, actually. It's got a quote by Robert Frost. In three words, I can sum up everything I've learned about life. It goes on, which is very true. This is really pretty. I really like this. Look at the inside. And then the pages, which are nicely lined, which is good because I cannot write on not lined pages because I like just write crooked. So that's awesome. Thank you so much. This is like a box, a treasure trove. It's like Christmas. I'm really excited right now. And do you notice the really pretty paper it was in? Because that's kind of awesome. I kind of miss the days where you used to wrap boxes in paper and like tie them up with little, I thought I was alive for that time, but you know, whatever. Really cute, really amazing. I have to start working on my box for you now, which might take me a little while, but hopefully it won't be too long. Um, I love all of this. I will link Maybe's channel in the down bar. Um, she also has a video opening a box that I sent her, I think, last month. So if you want to go check that out. There's also another video of me opening a box from her I got, I think, also last month. So if you'd like to check that out. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't have much else to say. If you guys would like to hear more from me, if you want other videos, uh, feel free to request them in the comments. If you liked this, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go away. I'm sorry, I can't help you. It is what it is. Um, that's pretty much it, though. Have an awesome Thanksgiving. And let me know, what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? What's your favorite, like, side dish? Because we're doing, um, my family's getting together, and I'm making cranberries because it's the easiest thing, and I'm just lazy this year. I don't know. But, um, let me know what you guys like to make and what your favorite dessert is, because I'm kind of curious. We're, we're debating on what kind of pie we should have. So I'd love to hear from you what you'd like to have. And that's pretty much about it. Have a good Thanksgiving, and hopefully I'll see you before Christmas. Bye.